Why, why can't you roll better, Steph? God. So consider yourself warned. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. All right. Hey, guys. This is Mananda. Welcome back to Life is Strange. True Colors. Hey, Steph. Uh, we can take a look at everything today. Horror novel. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. <laughs> I'm just thinking which direction I should go. Um... Everything looks really cool, so here. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. <laughs> no. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. Because Eleanor is the best. Steph, best of luck in this new adventure. We're all so glad you decided to stick around. Hugs, Eleanor. Leith. Yes, she is the best. Chocolato. That's probably gonna be my dinner. No, Steph, no. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Steph, have fun at the new gig. Don't worry, these chocolates are safe for work. That's from Charlotte. Okay, let's keep going down this way. We got mountains. Mountains? Mountains. I need to know who's mass-producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. Oh, damn, that is so pretty. I want one. Oh, and the de Oh my god, I want one. Okay, can we go in here? Yes, we can. We're sticking to the right. Left. Yikes. I, I'm directionally challenged, I'm sorry. This is the left. Some drummers dream of sitting in with the Stones or the Who. I know who I'd rather play with. <laughs> Aunt Flo and the Lilies. Mm -hmm. Got boxes. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay. There's nothing else I can do with those. Um, These I can't look at. Flyers. One day, bad clip art is going to make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. <laughs> Laptop. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Let's see, what do we have? The Seattle Mostly. scene. The Seattle scene. Local punk favorite drugstore makeup returns. That's the hard thing about being a two-piece, explained frontman Izzy. Insurrection. If you lose one person, that's half the band. The descendant of Seattle's punk venue may wonder what happened to the aggressive set and black lipstick of drugstore makeup after months of silence. Following an unexpected lineup change, Izzy... What the hell happened? Okay, cool. Izzy needed to pull another fresh talent. Our new drummer is a punk rock grenade. It's kick-ass energy we need right now. From Steph to Jorge. Uh, let's see. Dad, I don't know what could be more grounded than dead nuns. They are literally buried underground. Did you try shadows and whiskey yet? It's all got that crime noir you love without the misogyny lol okay i'm very confused with the music right now because for this episode i did turn off the copyright music because we had that last last time and i thought that it would be okay without it this time but what is this thing that's playing in the background right now i'm confused anyway stephanie hey there sweet so how long uh so how is it out there in the big co Hunted any wild elks yet? I've been buried in deadlines lately. Clients submitted feedback at the last minute asking for their trailer to feel. And I quote, More like a trailer. You got it, boss. Tried watching that show you recommended but couldn't get past the undead nuns. <laughs> Do you have anything uh, a little more grounded for me? Alright.
Okay, whatever. It is on. If it's... Uh, whatever. I don't care anymore. Take a look. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. Listen. I could give it a... This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. It would be nice if the stupid background music would just shut the fuck up. Thank you. Now at least okay. I get to hear some of it. So what instrument should I play this thing on? A guitar. Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. It's... Well, we'll keep the music. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. No one's buying records or holding records. Sheet music too? This store can't make up its mind. Not the owner's favorite musical, I take it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Instructional. French cuisine and you learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? What? Chapter one. Turning your computer on. <laughs> what? Is the music done? If they stopped moving, and then does that mean that the computer music is on? Maybe. Oh well, music theory. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? Then the moonshine will Pain. Oh. oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. I can't. One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Urban. Yeah. This place definitely needs an update. Let's see, what else we got here? Oak Trio. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. <laughs> but it's in board. Uh. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? Uh, listening station. When's the last time someone even used this? If you need me, Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Let's see. Dear Miss Gingrich, welcome to my store. Lord knows we need a fresh face. My name is Cassia. Uh, Sobeski, and I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Spring. The record trader is near to my heart. So, anything you can do to improve the place, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Some ideas, better decor, better music, fix event cover, and the back been falling off for years. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And... Yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. 
Yeah. Pick up the package, though. Package. Package. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't leave. I need, I need to open that package. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. <gasps> open it. my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, damn. What the hell happened? Did you just up and leave? Is Mikey she... really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Did she, did she leave everything? Like, just up and left. GM guide. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I thought he lost his feet, man. He lost his feet. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. I can choose a campaign? <gasps> Read it first. Oh my god. This takes me back. Do not read. Warning. Proceeding further will result in character death by sudden and unexpected organ failure. Oh, death. <gasps> Level 14. Alamon. Alamon wizard of the third circle. An honorable advisor to King Tiberius has felt the call of the magic since childhood. Born to peasant folks in the village of Autumn Graves, Alamon hid his ability for many years in fear of being outcast by the village eldership. As a young man, Alamon grew in boldness, finally leaving the autumn graves to seek instructions at the legendary Halls of Circle. Now he travels the world in search of knowledge, good company, and a smattering, smattering, smother, smattering of gold. Abilities. Communication, move object, astral projection, ghostly push. Arjo's acid blast. Zyle's Cataclasmic Cone of Fire and a Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, damn. Campaign ideas. Beneath, this music is bothering me in a way that I cannot read. Just a sec. I'm turning it down on my own headphones. Beneath the froth and foam, the villagers of Cre Crendel's Keep know two things better than anyone else on the Widowed Sea. How to catch a stubborn herring with a hook? and line and the haste of a stubborn herring over fire life was simple there and a little slow and hardly dangerous until the children started to disappear it started with the brew master's son then the smith's daughter then the hunter's nephew then more after calls went out to the monster hunter guilds but not too many folks make it to the way down to kendrell's keep a good-hearted kendrell man won uh, captain dennis so Tennis Salt sailed to the part of Rye himself and put forth a plea to the guildmaster. It was then, at last, the call was heard. But would it be enough? Too similar to the campaign Black Hollow. Wait, the Eternal Prisoner. There's more, but if you want to read this, no one can say who built the cell in Ashtooth Forest or how long it stood or what matter. Wait, can I actually read it? Yes, there we go. For us, or how long it stood, or what manner of spell magic the stone. Only the man that lives in the cell alone and imprisoned. For well over 600 years, he does not remember his name, but. Okay. Perfect city. No city in Karai compared to the bustling streets and dazzling spires of New Eden. It was not just the wealth, the artistry, or the safety found inside New Eden's walls. No, it was the total absence of everyday evil, disease, hunger, theft. The citizen of New Eden rise, raised perfect families and lived perfect lives. Neighboring kingdom were desperate to forge alliance. But New Eden stood alone in all its great perfection. But perfection comes at a cost. 
I'm kind of intrigued. I want to know what, why, how, how can a perf, how can a place be perfect? Nothing is perfect in this world, guys. Nothing. Rubies and fire. The locals call it Daughter Flame, but the mountain had other names. Ernest Park, Crimson Rock, and if you ask the right wrinkled bookkeeper, Ha Karsta Elder Throne. It stretched past the clouds and filled the sky with an endless veil of soup. It also excuse me, brought many travelers to its base. See King, the legendary treasure within. The Goat King Oz built the vault in forgotten days and left his two undying sons to guard it. No one could remove a single coin, jewel, or crown from the hoard. No one that lived, at least. Hmm. This one is interesting too. But then the perfect city sounds like a mystery that I want to know about. And, I mean, lost children is sad, but it might be so, a sad. So, need a new Elamon campaign. Uh, choose a campaign. My old... That's the missing children. That's the perfect city. And that's the See, I, I'm so intrigued by the perfect city because I want to know what makes them perfect. They have to be hiding some evil shit. <laughs> I really want to know what it is. The perfect city. Yes, roll it. How could you only have one set of dice? How is that even possible? You ready? It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign yes. again? Fuck yeah, I am. So I picked the campaign that we'll be doing. Oh God, I'm excited. I want to know what happened. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. Yeah. Okay, I do have a, 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 a quite, quite a bit. Shut up. I don't care about the dating app. I don't care. I'm going to be single forever. Um, let's see. Put up a poster. Update the release section. Check out the event. Complete the radio show task. Okay. Let's do everything here first, because that's what we do. And we're just gonna enjoy all the music in the background. You know? All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. And you might want to. Oh my, oh my god. god! That animal's living in the walls. Hey! You in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. <laughs> I'd probably do that too. Just, you know, give him a verbal warning. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. Ah. My first call. Better go in. I have phone call answering anxieties. I can't. Answer the fucking phone. Sorry. Jesse had a wife to mourn for his life. Three children. Hello? You're on KRCT radio and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Yeah? No, yeah. Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to? Me? is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways, by the seagulls don't let the door hit you by robbie rooster 
Am I supposed to remember all that? Because I'm not going to remember all that. Hmm. Interesting choices. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. <laughs> okay. Look. Don't you think it's time to move on? Maybe she's telling- oh god, maybe she's telling you something. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> Alright dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever lady, screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. <laughs> I mean, why why would you tell people that though? At the same time, I mean, it's none of our business. Why would you do that? Smolder can't be any worse of a wingman than Gabe. All right, let's use it. I need to check out Mikey's message. Well, if you want to tell it, I'm all ears. Hey, 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 did you get the package I sent you? Yes, reply. Don't be a bitch. Gonna be awkward, but fun. No, hell yeah, let's play. Dude, it's been way too long. I'm straight up hype about murdering Alamon again. <laughs> Lol, classic Steph Gingrich. Yes. Yes. I mean, I really, I really like the, the, um, uh, her relationship with Mikey from before the storm. I think it's beautiful. So I'm just saying. I think, I think they really should, um, you know, be friends again. That's all I'm saying. See. What city are we in? I don't know where. I can't do anything with. I could get put up some posters, right? Check an event, posters, and then update news section. I think I still have to go into this room to figure it out. Walk faster. Run. About half past nine. One of these might work. Let's choose something gay as fuck. No vital signs. The radio. Woman of power. Or. A slow oh, I see it. One tear in my eye. That sounds promising. And a lonesome frown. But when they brought me in. Yeah. I was fading cool. fast. They put me up on a stool. Why, yes, I did put up a poster of cute girls flexing. <laughs> Let's not all act surprised at once. <laughs> exactly, Steph, exactly. These new releases are like two years old. Update. Creep. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Classics. Oh my god, what the hell? 70s, 70s, 90s, that's, a, that's really classics. Um... Shall we go with Backstreet Boys? Let's go with the 90 Backstreet Boys. I mean, I think they're great. I love the 90s music. My age is showing. My fans are growing. Yes, Spice Girls. Yes. It's throwback time. Hell yeah. You know we've all been down. There's gotta be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. Thank you. I, I feel called out. Fucking phone. But there's a doctor on call. He's got a remedy. Yeah. Buy that old jukebox. Pick up the phone. Up. 
whiskey IV. Yeah. Start a whiskey IV for what? KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Um. What the shit? Let's go with that. It was obvious. Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because I'm learning the guitar. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? What? What? <laughs> All right. What am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. So, what's my prediction? sounds so horrible but would her friend be that petty that's the thing because college dropout is also god because that hurts college dropout hurts but oh man i don't like either of these choices why why can't you roll better steph god Maybe she doesn't have a rock, so that's why I call this rock out. I guess that would make sense in a way, but still not. Uh, I hate it. Let's do it, but though. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely remain best friends. The bad news is that it's her fault you end up dropping out of college. Really? How? the programming hiking the what the fuck i don't get this sure. has tara ever told you about her plan to hike the entire appalachian trail no exactly that's why it's so surprising when she loads up on gear and heads <laughs> east you can't bear the thought of your friend out there alone for six months so you quit school and join her you decide nature will be your teacher unfortunately nature doesn't give accredited diplomas so you have three years of community college waiting when you get back worth it all right that's all i got hope it wasn't too brutal it was rough but i think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead thanks steph <laughs> oh that's like some kind of bullshit that people okay cool i He's I used to feel like something was missing if I wasn't rolling this around in my hand. Yeah, I mean, but seriously, you only have one set. That is not enough. How dare you? How dare you to have only one set of, you know, dice? Uh, what was it? Well, I'm, I'm gonna look at the, um, yes, Gabe. Da, da, da. Yo, you're doing great. Give me a call towards the end of your shift for the debrief. Thanks. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Thanks, man. Will do. Wait, am I done? Oh, I am done. Am I, am I done here? I'm really done. Did I finish all the tasks? Um, I read all of that. I, I'm still getting fired. 
So it doesn't matter anymore, right? Because I'm getting fired. So let's call Gabe. Wait, am I calling Gabe on this stupid phone? No. How do I call Gabe? I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. How do I call Gabe? Help. Gabe. How do I... F oh, wait. Hi. Ah, sorry. Here it is. Oh, Gabe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Then the moon shine will. Totally getting fired. <laughs> Avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate me, your job prospects honey, today. <laughs> totally getting fired. Totally getting fired. Rough first day, huh? <sighs> I screw up the ad and then now that. Oh, God, I'm done. Steph, I am so sorry. But we're going to pause it right there because we're going to end it here today. Uh, thank you all for watching. And um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I'm happy to see Steph again. So yeah, I'll see you guys around. Bye.